Hello. We're, we're coming soon. I promise. What the fuck? Where's the other guy? We're not doing that today. Um, yeah, we're not. Well, yeah, we're just not doing that today. Um, there's some other. Sh uh, we're probably taking a break until next, next year. Um, uh, yeah. So don't expect any of that. Hold on, I'm just trying to move one or two cameras around, and then we will get to it. The fudge. Okay. Hello everyone. What's good? Wait, someone is built. I oh my god. Don't you mean holy moly? Tell me if I'm too quiet, guys. Voice only? Yeah. Well, look, I need some clickbait titles, okay? I'm struggling. Everyone else here everyone else is getting millions of views, okay? Meanwhile, I'm out here living it down. I'm rebranding. I wish I could rebrand. I don't think I have time for that. Um, oh, it's because Diego is streaming. Oh, damn it. Diego gets all the wholesome viewers that actually like keyboards who aren't in Teja's chat. Uh, that's a fact. <laughs> you know that's a fact. Ugh. Today, we have to lube these. I know. Diego knows Spanish. There's nothing I can do about that. Mr. Spain himself. Uh, he has BSP Hebrew, you don't. I have Xerox. Why would you need Hebrew when you have Xerox? I mean, Hebrew is pretty cool, but I like, I like Xerox way more. Although, hold on guys, before I go on the Xerox train, you Hebrew better okay. So before I go on the Xerox train, oh these are actually kind of smooth. These are cherry silent blacks. Hold on. Cherries have this interesting quality where <laughs> they might be smooth, but they sound scratchy. I'm sure you guys can hear the spring thing in there, but um, yeah. Oh. Okay, here's a big problem. If you guys can see this right now, before I continue, before I start losing. Oh my God, I was using this today. So the alphas I have down pretty much because I, as a touch typist, um, you know, even these keys are not too hard for me. But aside from the alphas, this really triggered me. Oh my God, this is the hardest thing to get used to because like your eyes immediately go to one, two, three, four, five, six, all the way down to zero. And the weird part about this, about this kit, I know it's based on the original, okay? But man, I wish it was. Also, thank you for the follow, okay? I didn't forget. But like, look at this, okay guys? Like, you think that because the correct key, well, the normal key is in blue, right? QWERTY is in blue. Um, that seven, eight, <laughs> that the blue parentheses are in the right spot. And I was hitting this all day making functions trying to wrap them properly and I couldn't do it even though like I know this is supposed to be eight and nine <laughs> and the brackets are here and it really bothers me <laughs> like nothing else really matters like sometimes this is really annoying um like dollar sign percent and ampersand because these are also not on the right key yeah it's actually my <sighs> it's actually very confusing <laughs> I I hate it I actually really don't like it the rat the alphas are sick but yeah, I, 
I was I was having a very hard time with this. Um, oh, a space bar? I don't need to take it out, but you can tell from here. Yeah, I should have done Desco Black because at least my alphas wouldn't be messed up. I forgot how much I like still rely on doing programming stuff with the correct um, additional characters. I don't think the legends are that busy. I like it. It's very like... Wait, why was this batch worse? Oh wow, did you know, did you guys know that if you get KBD fans, Bl Cherry MX Silent Blacks, that between each bag is not even the same? <laughs> they're not, they're not like remarkably different. Desco Black, I should have gotten Desco Black, but I like the mono color. Wait, unless, hold on, let me check my browser. Was, was Desco Black actually mono, mono color? Also, um, oh, it is. Where? It, <sighs> CRP. Uh, let's check. I'm not sponsored by Drop, by the way, so please don't assume I am. Where is it? I know I passed it, but I'm looking for a regular picture. Not. I don't like Drop pictures, because I can never see the whole thing like I want to. Avail. Gfax, right? Yeah, Desco is cool, but I don't know. The whole point for me was I wanted colors. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty straight. That's a good one. Yeah, I don't know, man. I just yeah, these space bars are very straight. Um, yeah, I thought I could get used to the to the shifted numerics. This is the only thing that bothers me on the set is the shifted numerics. I just, it's impossible for me. Um, yeah, I guess such a shame. Maybe I should have gotten Peacock like everyone, like every other, all the other scrubs or JP Pink. Had was the most boring. Come on, whoever thinks had was a good idea is super wrong. It's so boring. Yeah, all right. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go slave away. Gawk, I read your, I saw your, um, Actually, let's go shout out Gawk. I'm not sponsored by Gawk, but um, he made a new post about his 65%. If I could just find it without having to go to Discord. It's the Venn. The Venn diagram. I like, if you, did you guys read this? This is the funniest I see ever. What, well, not funniest. It's like just funny to me. He was like, oh, normally I like the 7, 7V. I love 75%, but I noticed my fiance pushes her 7V way too forward with the MacBook to make space when she wants to use the ladder. So I thought a 65% would shoot would suit her better. <laughs> what does he mean by that? Is this a flex? What did he mean? If you're reading this, you've been in coma for almost 20 years in a car accident or trying a new technique. We don't know where the special generator is. Amazing. Good shit. I'll never wake up. Look, if you, hold on. Oh shit. Also, imagine dating a girl who owns a MacBook. Anyway, I'm just kidding. Um, so I, I've actually thought about that before. So if you woke up, if you were able to like, if you somehow realized you're in the matrix and you woke up one day, like and you woke up into the new reality, how would you ever be certain after you've broken the first layer of reality that any subsequent layer of reality was the, the actual quote unquote true reality? There would be no way for you to define whether or not if you had woken up that the current reality you reside in is the real one. This is an inception. Stop. I hate all of you people who think every single movie that has any thought whatsoever is inception. Please don't do this. Please don't do this to me. Also, Gok. Man, Inception, man, I feel like um, he's kind of stuck as a director doing like a, an obsession with trying to do like mind, mind messy um, films, like films that make you question stuff. But it's it's gone to the point where like you might realize that if you do a second watching of Inception, you're like, wait, if these characters actually exist in this universe, why would they ever talk like this? Like every single piece of exposition is just telling the character. Like 
So it's like, it's like, oh, you're a specialized doctor who like can put people to sleep harder. How does that work? And it's like, dude, you live in a universe where you can jump into dreams. Like, what? Why would you need to know how it works? What do you, what do you mean? Like, and if if you already know that the kick is what wakes you up, why the fuck would you ask him? So like, well, how would you wake up if you have a sleep potion? And it's like, oh, I made it so that the kick still works. Bleh. Is my caps lock on straight? Uh, no, it was. It is not. Apparently not. It's uh, tilted. I don't know if it will be fixed. Where's my... Yeah, the caps lock seems fucked. Let's see. Mm, I would get a ruler and look at it, but I'm not going to right now. But Gok, I don't know if you're still there, but yeah. Have you ever thought about that? I've certainly thought of that. That like, no, like all the dialogue in, in any of Christopher Nolan's films are like exposition. They just feel really unnatural at a certain point. If, if it feels, it feels very strange to actually listen to his characters. Yeah, 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 yeah. The character thing, not the, yeah, I always found it really strange. Like even in his most recent, recent film, which I know I haven't like watched, so I don't want to like pass judgment for anyone else. But it was like, I'm, a, I'm very aware that in the trailer, they're like, whoa, time dilation, how does that work? It's like, bro, aren't you like in this universe where time dilation from the future were? <laughs> I don't understand. Um, but I think the memes are good. The memes that come out of his films are excellent. I like it a lot. So, yeah, I don't know, man. I feel bad for him. He's almost like cornered himself as a director. He's almost turning into a Michael Bay. Like, who knows? What if Michael Bay could actually make like other banger movies, but nobody wants him to. People just sign him up to make it like bombastic action films. We'll never know. I mean, they're, they're pretty good though. All right, so I wanted to ask you guys really quick. Wait, did everyone here get the CRP stuff? GH Beats, best romantic comedy by Michael Bay. I don't know, I think he could. I just don't think he wants to. You still didn't have your CRP set? Um, yeah, I'm very excited. The space bar was pretty good. I had some funny little, I have a funny little nub here, like a little like dip in mine. I think the original ones had that too. I, they said they fixed it, but mine doesn't have it. Mine has a little wibble in it, um, which is fine. I don't really mind. I, my space bar, does, my, I, my thumb doesn't touch it anyway, so I'm not gonna be very anal about it. Uh, yo, but the space bars are sick. Um, I don't, I kind of think, I don't know. I feel like the colors are very accurate so i i do appreciate that i'm just curious what they can do in the future for custom colorways if you know what i mean right because the colors here are muted but i'm curious if they could do good colors um in the future for customs because that'd be really neat otherwise eh. from the cap from saw touching the switch oh really from F and J. The scooped one or like the normal barred one? I'm genuinely curious. All of them? Really? Oh shit. I, I don't think I have, if I do, then I don't notice it. Um, I wouldn't know how to notice it. I'm not, I'm not that attentive. That's crazy. Oh guys, so yesterday I was uh, here chilling, doing work, okay? And my neighbors, they were like drilling into the wall behind, like I was on the couch, I was chilling and they were just drilling. And I couldn't figure out like what they were doing because it, it went on for like hours. It went on for like three hours, okay? And <laughs> it's like 11.30, 12 ish And I'm like, what the fuck? So me and my girlfriend like knock on their door and be like, yo, what's good? <laughs> and he's like, apparently he's trying to install this TV to his wall. 
But I'm like, bro, it's been four hours. Like, how, how many holes do you need to drill to, like, mount the TV? It's, it's incredible. These people are insane. Wait, what is this? What am I downloading? Movie. Oh, this is the video. Okay, hold on. Let's watch it. Wait, how come I can't watch videos on... Hold on, I gotta show my desktop. You guys are, you guys are hurting my feelings right now. Um, okay. Do I have anything weird up? I do. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna transition somewhere else, so we can. Uh, so we can hide just in case I have something weird come up. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Ooh, ooh, that would have been a clutch. Close one. Okay. I think we got it. All right, I'm gonna give me a Discord link. It's too late, bro. You're already making me. You're already making me uh, view my stuff. Okay. What am I looking at here? This video? All right, let's see it. Let's hear it. Oh, that is weird. What the hell? Hold on, what? So normal, relatively normal. Whoa, that's loud as fuck. Oh shit, that's a, uh, that's not good. I don't, uh, it sounds, so it sounds like the plastic is too short or like too far down and you're, you're hitting the end of the cab. Hold on. Let me, let me hear it on mine. Cause this is on barred, right? Yeah. My F key. Yeah. My F key is louder. Hold on. Let me, can you guys hear it? Yeah, my F key is a little louder. I don't know if um, that's uh, if that's totally accurate though for me. Interesting. I might trim it later. Yeah, I saw what you did. I don't know if I'll follow in your footsteps right away. I'll probably trim it later. I don't know if it bothers me that much. Won't it just break down eventually? Should I play music today? Gion <gasps> is that the Gion works? I saw your message that you sent something to me. I am patiently waiting. If you if I owe you money, please let me know. I will more be more than happy to pay for shipping. Or whatever else you want to charge me. You know you know it's a good keyboard because it's lasted on my desk for more than a, a week. Because normally I'll rotate a keyboard out in a week. I try switching back to my what board did I switch? I tried switching back to Key Cult and um, yeah, yeah, I did. I switched back. So it is what it is. But today, today, boring stream, Gion. So you don't have to watch. We're just uh, doing manual labor, just lubing. I love Gion and Gion accessories. I do. I do love Gion accessories. I was really happy though that my somehow my uh, F1 came with pre-cut gasket though. I would have been very nervous cutting the cutting them regularly. Oh. Are we checking stuff today? Am I checking more keyboards? Oh, I saw about this. It's the space the space people. Sorry, the Gray Studio people. Man, I'm never sure about these guys PCB though. I always get really nervous. After space round one, space 65 round one, I've never been able, I don't know if they've been able to live it down. I, cause what, space 65 V2 hasn't come out, has it? I think it came out maybe, I don't remember. And uh, yeah, I just don't, I'm not quite sure if this is a, if they're gonna be able to do it. What is this gasket? 
Oh no. Oh. <sighs> this is something that really, hold on, this actually kind of makes me, I, I, so the fad right now we all know is the gasket fad, right? Everyone loves gasket, apparently. But my thing is a lot of people seem to make a gasket keyboard, but they don't actually think too much about, I don't know how much thought is put into it, putting where the gaskets are go. I think there should be one day someone who can put more thought into mounting gasket. So a very easy idea I've, I've seen before is no side gasket. Yeah, I was gonna say, I feel like side gasket is not good here when you have this many top gasket. Like maybe if he only had the middle top gasket, then you could have side. But I don't think you should have basically all top and two sides. Cause doesn't this remove the ability for the for the plate to flex down? Well, no, it, it's actually not about the gaskets. If you remove the word gasket, because let's be real here, gaskets are actually not that flexible. They are very, they don't actually compress that much, right? They just create a softer piece to hold the plate, like in a less stiff manner than let's say a screw, right? So knowing this, these are actually just more mounting points than before. Like we're, we've, are, we're beginning to regress by putting more mounting points and then just making the plate more flexible. In which case, I would just ask for the plate to stay more flexible and then why don't you just do less gaskets? Or Well, and we can remove the word gasket and replace it with mounting points, right? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I just feel like there should be less... Call me a hater. You got... Sure. But I just feel like... If you want row flexibility, don't you want top down? Unless you're trying to go for the even feel, but then you shouldn't use gaskets. I don't know. I'm maybe I'm just repeating myself. Higabana. Oh no, what is this? Didn't we just have something like this? Isn't this just red samurai? Wait, this is just red samurai. Why is my internet so slow? Oops, it's low contrast GMK Samurai. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't. Who, who is Shen Shen? Can someone give me? Well, hold on. I'm not hating on a gasket keyboard. I'm hating on the amount of gasket mounting points he did. Right? I didn't say that the gaskets were bad. Right? There's technically only four mounting points on this, on this, on this, uh, on this plate, right? So we shouldn't think about it like that. I don't know, guys. Come on. Drop hasn't shipped. Yeah, I don't know what's good with drop. You know what's really funny is that I remember I was arguing with someone that they were going to run it through drop. And uh, they kept saying no, but proved them wrong. Yeah, I, I don't know. This looks cool, but the kit is almost well thought out. Let's see. Pipe pipe. Hmm. Yeah. After hyping, well, hold on, guys. I never said gaskets were bad. I just said multi man mounting point gasket doesn't seem logical, right? I can see how many cuts he's made in his in his uh plate to like compensate for that, but then it was like you could have just had no side mount. Review GMK Trump. Hold on, this the set is. Awful though. <laughs> Work in progress adding Alice support. This is like on the same me meme level as Greg. Unrealistic because his hairline is not receding. Am I right, boys? There's no MAGA hat novelty. True. Um. There's so much wrong with this desk mat guy, or with this key set. So no color matching is needed. Oh God, the yellow is so bad. What's up, test boots? What is with this kit? I wish, okay, hold on. Okay, no meme for a second though. I wish people put a little bit more effort in a uh, kitting though. This kit feels awful. 
But then again, it doesn't follow standard colors, so there's that. Uh, what the heck is going on? Where's my caps lock control spot? Hello, 100 gex. Any gex? Yeah, I don't know. I can't, I don't think I can willingly look at that keycap set and feel good about myself. Hold on, wait, can we look at, is, does this Sargas get mounted or is it just top mount? I don't remember. Also, my internet is so slow today. Um, oh my God. Do I need to close a million tabs or something? Okay, the SAR, what was the mounting style? Omnitype? Hold on, wait, what? What is Dixie doing with Omnitype? What is that? What does that mean? Dixie will be rebranding to Omnitype. Dixie carries negative commutation. Um, wait, that's it? I thought they were doing something. Because of association? Is it like Dixie Chicks, I, I suppose? Did I see the Ori CLS too? Yeah, I did, but I'm, I'm not gonna look at those keyboards because like those are so limited runs. It's too hard for me to get. Manson Dixie line? I don't know anything about the South, so consider me um, uneducated. Yeah, that's the only Dixie thing I know, okay. Omni-type? But I'm an omni-liberal. This... Oh, hold on, wait a minute. It, okay, now that he's rebranded, can I, like, talk about what happened when some people talked about his logo? This is... Okay, so just in case Dixie watches this, this these are not my thoughts. These are thoughts that people brought up to me like maybe like maybe a handful of times okay these are things that people ask me to meme about and i have not okay which is why this is going to be the first time i'm going to talk about it okay this is really serious i mean like not serious anymore so one of the criticisms someone had about dixie was that if you look at their name and eh, where's the other if you get this where's the sticker it's only it's very obvious on the sticker yeah so if you like zoom in on the sticker Someone said, it's like, did he choose the word Dixie so he could have the Confederate cross flag thingy in the middle of his logo, um, being from the South? And um, yeah, the Ori boards have this sick logo. Yeah, I did. You sent me the hypno programming. <laughs> I did. You, I, I did. The tutorial isn't actually bad. It was funny as hell. Okay, so, so yeah, someone was like, do you think he hid the Confederate flag in the middle for fun? Uh, I said no, because it, cause it's just, a, right? Um, but now that I see this logo, it's still an X in the middle. I don't, I don't know anymore. <laughs> I'm having doubts. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I just, guys, I, look, I, I don't know if he's trying to hide it anymore. Um yeah especially it's weird because there's no x in any of the, the words i yeah maybe 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 i'm delusional okay maybe i'm wrong maybe i'm just wrong negative space keycap <sighs> abstract letter o wait hold on every o is abstract isn't it just an o hold on wait what okay hold on keyboard arrows keys negative space keycap you sure um cool though i i think it's cool to do a rebrand um oh i lost my dixie sticker the saras gasket yeah but see look the, i'm not making fun of gasket look this is top and bottom gasket so there's only like there's only technically two main points of contact which is top and bottom okay the flex in between i don't really fucking i don't think it matters that much at least it's not triangles. I mean, yeah, in a way. Um, 
I think Dixie Mac the name was is fine to be honest. I think people are reading it a little bit far. Look how heavy the plate is. Uh, the gaskets won't survive. This has to be a meme, right? Wait, this is like a, almost a one kilo plate. No, what the heck? Those that means hold on. Um, that means these have to be very thick. Oh man, I don't know. One kg weight? No, it's one kg plate. What's up? I'm too loud. Okay. Why don't you just say that? Oh, I can't read messages. One point four point five millimeter. I don't know why anyone would enjoy typing on that. That's insane. So Zombie gets a lot of criticism for trying to make all of his sets not with non mod pipe compatible, and he gets a lot of flack for for trying to progress in his mind. Okay, not in not my mind. Trying to progress um, how uh, keycap sets are defined. But um, then sometimes he also does things like this with the brass thing. I, which, look, I'm not a designer, so I'm not going to criticize him there. But to me, from an outsider point of view, I'm just not quite sure what um, what he's trying to trying to accomplish. Use the brass plate with it's good. Look, man, I just don't know. Okay, I didn't say it was this brass plate though. This is 4.5 millimeters. That's just a little heavy and extremely expensive. I don't know, it's his board. He's allowed to do what he wants, so no criticism there. Trainer Drax, hello. One of you guys in here won my giveaway. And now everyone thinks it's rigged. <sighs> I'm really glad that Gok didn't, en didn't enter slash win. Oh my god, shipping to him would have been insane. <sighs> oh, what is this? Barletti, switch foam. Um, well, hold on. These gaskets look pretty big, though. Let's be realistic. Oh, is it double sided? Uh, this image makes this image doesn't make sense to me. Why this one is sticking out? I'm trying to think about it. I'm trying to think how this would work. Gok didn't want it anyways. Okay, Gok. Whatever, man. Hey. It's the arrows. Oh, sorry. I'm blind. Yeah, we're looking at the star. There's no space, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. No, it makes sense. I wasn't looking at it. Okay. True. True, 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 true. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. It's this again. Handmade keyboard bags. Except I would never want this. What else is there? What's new? Wait, this again? I don't understand this set at all. I, I mean, the colors, nothing is bad. Wait, he used this art? <sighs> would anyone ever get this? Um, Test mat. I'm really curious. There's something about the art that clashes with itself that I uh, do not understand. It seems like, yeah, it's it's got the it's not centered thing on it, but I don't think it. The art in the background clashes with the art in the foreground, and I'm not a fan of that. Do you like a mozo? It's empty. Cool, cool, cool. Um, yeah, not for me. What is this? Extra. This is a meme board. Extra long. Oh, this is the. This is a sixty percent. Oh, this is the eclipse. But maybe it'll be made first. I don't care anymore. Santiago. Okay, my internet is so slow. I don't know what's happening. Am I on my five G? Okay. Santiago Studio. Um, the Lyra. Hmm. 
What is this board? Looks cool so far. Mm. Wait, what's it made of? Oh, you want to just check? You're going to bed? What the hell? Come on, Trainer Jax. I've seen you stay up longer than that. Don't lie to me. No, you're streaming. What are you streaming? Are you building something? It's okay. You can do it. What are you streaming? He's doing a three hour long typing test. Jesus fuck. This board looks pretty nice. Uh, I don't think uh, it looks okay. Yeah, I think it looks fine. The seam is kind of big for me, but I don't think it's uh, that bad. Oh, let's hear this. Oh, that's pretty flexible. Is he going to press any of these keys though? How come I can't hear How come I can't hear any of these? How come I can't hear the board? Hold on, maybe his channel has more Santiago custom. No, he doesn't. Uh, oh, he's just showing the leaf. Oh, cool. I mean, I wish I knew how to sound because carbon fiber has a very particular sound. So, um, that's that's what we care about. He owns two CNC machines. Wait, so how did you own two CNC machines if your main job was making cables before? How do you get this much money? Are cables this lucrative? Should I come back and try to be a cable maker? Should I quit quit fuck keyboards? Cables where it's at, clearly. Oh my god, what have I been doing? I'm just kidding, I hate making cables so much that I would never do it. I did it once and I'm never doing it again. Um Damn, I didn't know that after a couple of years of cable making you could just own two CNC machines. You could be the next Selvin right here. Yeah, clearly you're doing cables wrong. This guy was like, hi, mainly known for custom cables, vintage and, and, and coiled, normal. And now I own two CNC machines. <laughs> Holy moly. Oh, this thing. Um, the, the thing made with the hieroglyphs. He, wait, he's working with who? Oh, it's made with Fox Labs support? Is this a render? I like how he had time to render these things. What the heck? Wait, who had time to render these other animals? <laughs> what? What is going on? Limited brass and Schrodinger edition? Dude. They inherited a machine shop. How do you inherit a machine shop? My father owned a machine shop. Okay, you watch your mouth. Don't talk about... Don't talk to me about keyboards. My dad owns a machine shop. Or my dad works at Salvin's. <laughs> Is that going to be the future? Okay. I think we're going to just leave this much for now. Because I, I don't like loading up my thing too much. It gets too confusing. I've recently tried to upgrade my brush to see how big I can go without without losing it, without losing my marble. I was thinking of using hold on. I was thinking of using a brush this thick. What do you guys think? Do you think this is dumb? Because if, if you guys if I if I I can just do it all in one go, right? What do you guys think? <laughs> right? I can just do it all in one go. One, right? Or do you think this is a bad idea? Because this is my normal one. This is my, this is my personal 2.0, um, but this is weak. I have to do two, two strokes. 
And this is also two strokes. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to try doing that maybe off stream though. That seems like a suboptimal strategy. I forgot how annoying looping switches were. Oh, wait, what am I doing? I'm doing this wrong. I should have been looping the, the switch housing first. Yeah, I'm looping, but I'm trying not to be xenophobic, but wait, where did this conversation come from? The guy in the monophobic, in the monoflex video said, Okay, what did he say? I'm so curious now. I had just had the opportunity to send Ukrainian, mail, which is much easier than Italian mail, so I can use new mail, no problems. Huh. Wait, what did he mean by this? Is he Ukrainian? I'm very confused by what, he, what his cryptic message is. I'm not trying to be xenophobic. Hmm. Huh. That's a very weird way to put your 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 mailing thing. Ukrainian mail, if it gets lost, it's lost. Yeah, that's a little bit or irresponsible to try to do the cheapest shipping possible at all times. Cause at some point, look, guys. A lot of people, myself included, have this issue of wanting to pay zero dollars for shipping, even though you need to realize that shipping is a service. You pay for people keeping track of your stuff and bringing it to you. People are obsessed with the idea that that should be free. <laughs> it's insane, right? You know you pay for shipping when the item arrives at the brick and mortar store. It's just rolled into the price. Um, yeah, Amazon Prime like has made so many people jaded to the idea that you should and need to pay for shipping for items. It's incredible. And technically, if you guys really want to think about it, Amazon doesn't include shipping in its price because they have so much money coming in from other sources that they don't need to, right? The difference is that they have so many web services and data mining and server managing money, right? Because that stuff is expensive. And that can pay for shipping, no problem. That kind of infrastructure is paid for by itself. Yeah, it's kind of crazy because a lot of people compete on that front and it's impossible. You can't win. You can't win with overly cheap shipping, guys. Pay 142 to ship the KC. Yeah, although I have to say some people's shipping is way more expensive than others. It's kind of weird because some countries just simply have more expensive shipping, regardless if it's really subsidized or not. I'm not really sure how it works. I'm not a geopolitical expert, but like, for example, shipping from Korea is kind of expensive. But then like if you compare it to shipping from Australia, it's not expensive. Like I was able to ship this board from Korea for what, $40? Right, and then whenever I get a Rama from Kika, Rama from from Australia, right? I don't know where they what port they ship out of. Man, I'm really scared each time, because it's already like thirty dollars DHL, and then once it gets here, you have no idea what you're gonna actually be charged. It's usually a lot more. You usually get slapped with hundred dollar customs. Yeah, and I'm not down for that. Okay. Shipping out of Australia is more expensive than shipping in. I don't know why. Something something mysterious about that. 
you guys want music? Chat? Do you want Tiff to sing? If she's in the mood for singing? I don't think she is. I don't know if she is. She's not in the mood to sing. No music? Just me? You just want my voice? That's... Okay. Whatever you say, my man. Look, man, I just don't want I just don't want you guys to be bored, okay? Important, we will lower the price so you don't pay extra taxes. I don't know. <laughs> I wish that was real. That's never real. Yo, oh my god. I rep I saw okay, guy, yeah, here's a fun story cuz now now that I no longer own the Molly. Um oh, that speaking of Molly, I got to check if that has has reached reached them but anyways yeah so when I got my molly I actually got charged a bit at the border I don't remember how much but it, I remember it was a non-zero amount and it was funny because TKC had marked the molly at zero at ten at ten dollars not a hundred not like 50% of the cost at ten dollars and um, they obviously opened it <laughs> They obviously opened it, and I was billed for what you would expect a much more expensive item to be billed for. <laughs> so I just thought that was really funny that that was a thing. I thought that was very funny. <laughs> Yeah, they went out of their way to try to lower it, but they lowered it by so much that I got charged anyway. Hilarious. The horseshoe theory of keyboard of keyboard declaration. I would I mean, wait, doesn't China do that? Yeah, China does that. But with China you don't actually know. Like if you're a customs officer, I feel like if you see something big and heavy come out of China, you actually might still think that's cheap. Like cuz that might be made of like crappy like garbage iron and you might be like whatever man shit sucks or you might like you see something shiny you're like well i don't know that could just be chrome or like aluminum foil painted that might fall apart in like a week so i feel like with china stuff it's actually harder to be a border person with but now if it's coming out of the states who's that typing the background yeah it's tiff she's working on her jeopardy project i don't know if i can show it yeah she's working on her jeopardy game she made a Jeopardy game for friends and fam. So I think she's updating some questions and making a, a mini Christmas update so that it uh, has like snow or something. A falling snow. Yeah, you know you guys love snow on websites. Oh! I go on Twitter? No. Oh my god. Oh yeah, so I took off um sorry if Zara is still watching. I took off his uh his GMK darling. I am going to go f I think I might keep it around like in a box so that I can use it to put on boards that are not mine. I rather have the boring boards in front of me that are PBT so that way I can use his for nice pictures without getting it shined. Cuz I shine GMK sets really quickly and uh they don't really look nice once they're shined. Should I do should I do the Reddit take? Oh my god, why are Jean K sets so expensive if they're gonna shine after one week? Blah blah blah, hundred dollars when you can get the same thing on Taobao, blah 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 blah. Rotate through fourteen of them. Look man, not everyone can afford fourteen sets. Let alone like one. According to Reddit. According to Reddit, no one can afford a GMK sets. Are my hands usually sweaty? Yeah, they are. They produce a lot of moisture. My hands get very moist. Um, and if they're not moist, like, like they can't, I have, like, it's usually only dry or cold when it's dry or cold outside. 
but um usually i swipe a bit it's hard because like i'll wash my hands pretty often too but it doesn't matter it's like sweat just you know annihilates gmk stats faster than anything else on earth faster than your girlfriend smashing your 7v against her macbook and causing the pbd to come off or scuffing it or something like that <coughs> no one knows no one knows that reference feels bad Ugh, alone in my alone in my references that was a callback to 15 minutes ago okay okay thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you do, do you ever feel like movie directors who like do a scene callback or like a, a thing like actual foreshadowing or like a reference in the middle of their film they're like hmm is this for me or is this for the audience and it's like man will the audience even pay attention and the answer is probably like no like I'm, I'm i'm pretty sure the average audience one just doesn't recognize half the things that go on you have a 7v no i do not have a 7v i missed out like a chump i thought i didn't need it and then uh, now that other 75% are coming out, they were just inferior to what the 7B is. So a bit sad that I uh, missed out on that. It's okay. I mean, it's totally my fault. It was an unlimited group buy. Um, so anyone who missed out is there. It's on their own. It's, they're on their own, on their own fault. Okay, we're almost done lubing these rails in the back side of this. Okay, imagine putting a sticker on the Q-Cut logo on your life. Hey, listen here, buddy. I didn't ask for that to happen. It happened on its own. Okay, let's get this film. I'm filming. You can always impulse later. I actually test both i thought about selling that key call but i think more than the logo like like slightly damaged or whatever i think the fact that um the fact that the the patina on the brass is so crazy bad now i don't know why like the moment i got it it was already like kind of turning but then it turned so quickly and i like i didn't even try wipe i didn't try cleaning it too much like because it said not to right in the owner's manual it says don't clean with alcohol so i didn't i just cleaned with a cloth but um it just continued to patina and further and further and i gave up on trying to maintain it um i guess I, the only way to fix it is to sandblast it but i feel like i would never be able to sell it because of that more than the yeah it could be from the sweaty hands but more than yeah but basically it's i don't think it's the logo that's going to ever prevent me from selling it um and even if i tried to like i, I don't know i probably wouldn't if there's one thing I want to do with the key call is to make it win key friendly instead of win keyless. I for one am not one of those people who like obsess over win keyless. That's not my style. I have sweaty hands, okay? I don't know what to do with it. Sometimes my hands are dry, just not all the time. Just not most of the time. It's just genetics, okay? Maybe, maybe it has sweaty hands. Maybe that means I should not, not be into um, typing on keyboards and only building them so that the amount of contact time is as minimal as possible. Or maybe I should only wear gloves to build keyboards. No, that, not having the sense of touch is not good. I don't know. I don't know if people could do that. I'm pretty sure Teha couldn't even do it. He he like only memes about it want win keyless maximum flip though i honestly i saw the last couple of key calls go out uh, on mac market they did not sell for very well i don't think any of them sold over 1.8 1.9 which is not a good sign mostly because key called is continuing to pump out key calls so the the like prestige of owning one is way less this is why i'm a god well Gion's not here but this is this is truly why I'm a Gion sim, right? Because Gion's boards are not being remade. <laughs> I mean, Gion's boards comes with a deficit first 
few boards come with a deficit that they, they don't have nice PCBs, but, um, you know. Man, here's a real question, guys. Do you ever think that QMK and TM, QMK and VIA will ever be good enough? And when I mean good enough, I mean it is good right now, as in big enough to finally crack the market that is Korean and Chinese keyboard makers so we can stop using their god-awful, like, non-English <laughs> software. <laughs> Please. Like a few of them, a few of the more Western uh, friendly keyboard makers in Korea have, have made, have used like Honeybush PCBs, but like the people who make PCBs there, like why can't they just flash for VIA? I know English is not their first language, but almost all programming languages are in pseudo English, right? Like all of them. I don't think there's a single programming language that's not in pseudo English. Except for like machine learning, right? Or sorry, not machine learning. Um, um, you know, really based low level languages like, um, uh, I don't know why I write, don't remember right now, but yeah. But like basically a few levels above machine code. Aren't some of the Chinese menus supporting QMK and VIA? Yeah, some of them, very few of them. Um, and those are only ones that are like very widely known for being Americanized already. Like, what are the really bad ones that are famous? The, whatever 60% ones? Any of the, any of the ANSI 60, DZ 60 kind of shit. Those are like de facto QMK compatible I'm just saying like when what can you guys imagine the day that TX keyboards switches to via how insane would that be I understand it's it kind of I understand that he he makes his own PCBs but man I would be very happy especially since TX and this is a big prop to TX is that he keeps his PCBs in stock like he has extras on his site. He always makes more, um, which is like such a nice gesture. He doesn't have to, but he, because he does, he has like this great support system. Like I would, I would, if his Suo USB-C TKL supported VIA, man, I'd buy like four of the, four or five of those right now. Cause like no one else is selling TKL PCBs right now, like in stock. You've been waiting for extra for your HJ? Yeah, I um, I got lucky and I got my extra um, not too long ago. Not for my HJ, for my TX75 when I still had one. Oh my God, guys, look at that. Lubing springs have now been ever easier. Look at that. Oh my God, is that perfect coverage each time? How does he do it? What tool is that? Oh my God. And then COVID pretended, prevented TX from shipping it. Um, yeah, that sucks for sure. I don't know why COVID prevents industrial shipping though. I've never understood that. Even if it's to a personal address. It's like with COVID going around, like I don't think packages are infected. And if they are infected, they don't stay infected for that long because it's outside. So I always found that very strange. I can understand banning travel. That makes sense. But everything else is questionable at best. Oh my God, did I just loop all those strings just like that? And I don't have to detangle them? Holy moly. You might be asking yourself, where can I get one of these amazing spring holders? If you're not asking then I'm sorry, I don't know. 
Maybe you don't swap search. <laughs> Tears keywords that CA are calm. Well, if only that spring hole there bef existed before you bag lubed, just pour your bag in here. Make this your new bag. Look, stop supporting Ziploc. Support local business. Oh no, I did the rookie mistake. I popped it open. Well, it doesn't really matter because uh, they weren't in a bag, so they're still not going to be tangled. You're not even local to me? Well, do you want me to move closer? Like, what do you mean? Look, I'm on the same continent as you. That should be local enough. I'm definitely more local to you than a uh, whatever Ziploc style brand you, you buy from. Headed up to Vancouver. Come to Vancouver. Yeah, if I come to Vancouver, look, okay, if I go to Vancouver, okay, if I do a local pickup there available, will you guys actually use it? Because the basically the only reason that only thing that's keeping me in Toronto is the amount of local pickups I have in Toronto. So if you guys can have more local pickup in Vancouver than in Toronto, then I'll gladly move. Okay. <laughs> Housing is expensive, okay, and I need local pickup profits to to help me out <laughs> okay that's the deal for Vancouverans okay that's the deal beautiful You local pick up for Zeal and Malvix orders? SMH and the wrong and the Wong orders? Okay, but I'm asking you to local pick up for me. Look, if you want, what if we bought a complex and like one of those um, CSGO kids or those Fortnite kids and we had a big mansion together and instead of local pickup, you would just live in the house. And then you could just get your stuff whenever you want and not have to do it. Try hard. Hmm? Hmm? What about that? What if we all lived in a big old house together? Are these H1s? No, these are silent cherry blacks with uh, these monstrous springs. I think these springs are actually lighter than they used to be. They're definitely lighter than H1s. H1s were so tiring. Stock spring were so tiring to type on. I legit don't know how people type on such heavy springs. Who is it? I think the only prominent figure I know who types on. Oh my God, is that the Jax static? Wait, someone send you? Yeah, CRP round three did deliver. No scams. Oh my God, thank you so much. Oh my god, is that Peaches watching? Oh snap! Hi Peaches! That's the last gift subs I can give for the year to anyone. Oh, thanks so much. Hey, I really appreciate it, okay? Uh, without without your support, I wouldn't be able to do what I do, okay? And I really, I do appreciate it. Wait, was Zerb was in here the whole time? Oh my god, he must have heard me talk shit about his set. I didn't talk shit, I promise, okay? I just said I think it'd be nicer to put on to keyboards that I build for other people when I don't have a set to put on, okay? That's what I do with all my GMK sets. Don't judge me. Oh god, I hope he's not offended. What's Tiff typing on? She's typing on the exclusive E8.5. Which I think will be the first board I'll ever think about like modern board I have right now. Um, yeah, I will, I'll do it later this week. I have to do this loop job first. Oh my God. 
that's quiet. That's good. Yeah. I might I might sell the EX E eight point five. Um I just don't really enjoy the feel of it and we don't really partic we, the only reason we keep it around right now is because it is the only ten keyless board that we have that's win key. Uh and both Tiff and I need to use or have jobs that require us to use the win key quite a bit. I work my way around it with different layouts and stuff, but for her that is not an option, so yeah thank you thank you thank you Jax Jax how are things I saw you get upset recently at um, a form poster if you're still here I saw you get upset at some interest check thread on geek hack whatever happened there I don't I because I didn't keep up you know me He's gone. Rip. Dude, linears are so weird. I'm using 68 gram sprit springs with get yellows on a palm plate on a palm board. Wait, why are they, Why does that make it weird? Can you quantify that for me? Does it feel weird? I don't know. I feel like what one thing I've recently done discovered for myself, my own preference, is that I feel like plate material changes the way like how heavy a spring may be perceived and not necessarily um not in a good or bad way just interesting usually go on tactiles oh i like tactiles on harder plates otherwise it's weird because then you'll push down it'll flex and then pop back up which i think is a little weird Palm is fun though. I think palm is like a very fun material to use. It's too light. No, I th no, I think it's because I think linears just make some of the best. What part of the tops are we lubing? So when I lube tops, I only lube. I try to focus on right here. Um, you see that small amount there. So I only want to lube. I'll do it through here. I only like lubing um, this segment here, where the where the switch hits the top. I want to dampen some of the sound there, um, mostly because and this is pretty important to people who. A lot of people like to focus on lubing like big these big surfaces, of the switch, and I don't always agree with that. Do I always lube top recently? Yeah, it makes things da more damp and I more like more quiet. It rounds out the sound to me a little bit, so I think it's worth it. It's because I like to also hear a good um, upstroke noise. Having it having an unwhole sound is always weird. Like if you have a dampened downstroke, and then you have a and then you have like a sharp upstroke, that kind of that's a little odd to me. Uh, not that I hate it, I just think that's uh, like if you choose to do that, it seems like a very interesting choice that I would not make anymore. So that's just me. You've been living like that since 2018. Well, hold on, not you in particular. Just I don't live like obviously no, not everyone lives the same, right? We don't we don't need to do we don't need we don't need to like prove that oh no i clipped the film wrong god is there anything sadder than clipping a film incorrectly I always find it interesting that filming is has gone from I think a necessity 
Because before it was because of Wobble. But now because it augments the acoustics of a switch, uh, now you just want to film because it helps everything get lower. <laughs> Do you think Quentin Moyu blacks if blue? Quite. Yes. Yeah, especially JWK switches. I don't know what it is, but their their polycarbonate tops are very um they're very sharp sounding. Not in a bad way. They're just they're just loud. They're just loud and sharp. That's just that's just the sound signature they have. I wanna film shit where films don't fit. Yeah, I I too like sticking things where things don't wanna fit. Well, all of JWK stuff is very loud to me, um, like in a crispy way, not not ever in a bad way. Just it is just loud. Um, it's not it's not like thick like people would say. Okay, I hate using that word, but it's not thick like people would say. T one sound deeper than any of the other other nylon. Yeah, I, I think it could be because they filled out more. Um, oh wait, here, guys, this is something that bothers me. Okay, if we put the switch back into the top housing here, okay, I, I want us to I want us to look at this together, okay? Because a lot of people go crazy with their lube everywhere. Okay, so let me see if I have a like white piece of paper. Actually, let's put a tissue behind it because it's white. Okay, so do you see how there's only a few tiny little guard railings that actually touch the switch right on the back on the front on the sides if we flip this over okay i'm gonna apply a thin lube a thin like streak of lube across okay okay you guys see that you can see the shine how it's sideways and i applied it sideways we're gonna put this back into the top housing here okay Okay, I'm going to actuate it. Okay. Take it out. Oh no, I dropped it. God damn it. But hold on. Oh wait, no, it's still good. It's still good. Look, you guys can see how, see that? There's two slots where the thing actually is touching the railing. Sorry that my nails are a little long. You see that? So I don't like it when people are like, oh, Okay, people do this, okay, and this really triggers me. They're like, I gotta lube the top, I gotta lube it, I gotta, <laughs> and it's like, dude, <laughs> so little of the switch touches that part. <laughs> Why would you do that? All right, I'm scooping this off before I waste any. I did all of that for one meme. Okay, don't be one of those people, okay? Don't do not do that, okay? God, it, this stuff bothers me so much. It's ridiculous. All right, I gotta scoop that off. But seriously, yeah, you don't really need to do that, okay? The railings are don't touch that much. If anything, the sliders on both sides of the switch are like the most important part. The sliders, the sliders in the housing, the, sorry, the rails in the housing are very important. Everything else is like mediocrely less important. I don't even lube that part sometimes. Yeah, I, I'm beginning to skip lubing it, mostly because I feel like it really does not make a difference. If anything, I focus a lot on the sides. So here's something I've been doing really recently. This is like, I'm very in the experimental stage with it. So I leave a little bit more lube on the side here. This is actually a little too much. I might take a little bit off. Um, just enough so I can see a little bit of the white, just like that. Uh, so I do that on both sides of the of the stem here, the little slider part, uh, and I find that that has a very nice effect because that again is obviously the main thing that um, is in contact with the switch. And then I do a little bit on the center pole. I don't do that much on the center pole. I think doing the base of the pole is good because that helps with the spring. But. Aside from that, try not to do too much. Yeah. So I basically moved the lube that I would have put on um, the back side these days onto the slider. And uh, yeah, that's that.
I don't know. What do you guys do instead? I'm curious. How do you guys loop? I mean, different strokes for different blokes, different folks. Oh yeah, that's good. Something that I've noticed that I've used to be very paranoid about was when I first had cherry switches is that I always found that they sounded really scratchy and I thought that translated to real scratchiness, but I later found out that that wasn't necessarily the case is that a switch can feel really smooth and still have that scratchy noise um, and you can lube the crap out of it but you'll still hear the scratchy noise <laughs> wait I usually what Henry tells me to do and he judges and he says not good enough what does that even mean? I don't know if you can visually judge what is good enough right um, that doesn't make any sense to me. I don't know. I'm not, I don't think visually judging lube jobs is a, a viable strategy because I think it's basically, it's visual to you and then you should know how it feels in relation. He feels it. Wait, do you work for him? Do you lube it for him? Oh. I don't know, I think people, a lot of people lube very light, a lot of people lube extra heavy, and that's just the difference. I don't think anyone could be the sole judge of what's a good lube job. It's, at the end of the day, it is unironically preference. Um, so. Oh, you go hang out in his office. Not anymore, damn, feels bad. Yeah, I don't know, I think, I think Zeal's guide, I read it before. I think he goes, okay, here's my honest opinion, okay? I don't I don't hate Zeal, Zeal's a cool dude. Um, is that I think he focuses on a lot of areas that don't need that much focus sometimes. Um, like the back and the front side of the housing, in my opinion, that doesn't need, I don't think that needs that much lube. That's like a silly place. I underlube then punch myself because yeah no underlubing is way worse than overlubing. Overlubing you just say to yourself oh that will wear out over time. Underlubing is like no I need to add lube but I don't know how because it's already soldered. This is fine. The only thing that's hard about lubing is consistency honestly. Cause if you could just willy nilly do it, then yeah, who wouldn't do it? And then speed. Cause like a lot of people just want to finish lubing and then move on with their lives. But that usually leads to a not a good job. But then it's like, oh, oh. What's the best lube, Hugo? Hey. Any lube, even butter, okay? I want the person to ask me that in real life one day. I really wanna be able to answer a meme answer and then like have them understand through the meme answer that there is no right answer. Like what's a really hard to obtain lube? What if I was like, oh, you know what's actually super underrated? Car lube. Are we watching the glasses video together? Sure, send it to me. Is glasses in here? That guy does hang out sometime. GHP4 all the way. Yeah, so I reformulated GHP4. I know I can cook it now, but I don't want to cook it anymore. <laughs> I have to use like alcohol and like burn it off so that the particles bind yeah, more, sh more strongly together. What's the glasses video? My girlfriend watches glasses now in the living room sometimes. All right, all right, we're watching it. Sorry for people who think I'm a react Andy.
Wait, what? Hold on. Oh, I thought he was so much taller. I thought he was going to hit his head. <laughs> Never settle. Yikes. Wait. Hold on. Wow. He's not even... My Discord doesn't show up here. Feels bad. Hey, what's the best you? Did he make an alt? Did he unironically somehow do uh, call the cops on uh, a certain colored stranger in your house meme? Wait, he didn't read chat? Oh, is it because my thing is muted? Oops. I did not read chat. All right, here, we'll do it again. I didn't read it. Sorry, I'm sorry guys, okay? I turned off music because I was recording a video on this computer, okay? And I needed the other audio off because people were DMing me. There's literally nothing more annoying than that. Yeah, you one and a half minutes through a typing test, and then he, uh, someone DMs you on Discord. <laughs> you fucking kill them. <laughs> yeah, he should have started the blender. What a what a oozy. Who the hell? Wait, you're glasses, aren't you? I should probably call the police right now, but you are just the person I want to see. Dude, I literally just DM'd you like five minutes ago after trying to figure out the best switch for this new keyboard I was buying. Man, I've been going back and forth for days. Like, do I get ink blacks? Do I get alpacas? The holy pandas sound nice? Oh, I actually don't know. Like, I just really want to make sure I get the best. You know, I didn't think I'd be desoldering a human today, but... Here I am. Whoa, 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 why, why, what, what, what do I do, what do I do? Wait, Dude, who's I holding just the, trying to find out what the you think he's holding the did? gun to himself? <laughs> why did you just do that? Oh, did you, did you not ask me to slap you across the face with my desoldering gun? Well, this bitch is uh, just to slap me across the face with my desoldering gun. Did How you? did you, okay, let, let me explain, right? I just built a really high performance gaming PC, right? I learned about custom keyboards, and now I want to build the highest performing keyboard. I Your face is really oily. Why do you keep doing this? Do you like the t-shirt you're wearing? What? Yeah, I guess it's one of my favorites. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. That's pretty... It's your new favorite t-shirt. That's the best t-shirt you now own. What? That is now the best t-shirt you own. No, it's not. It is. No, it's not. Yes, well, it is. Well, no, is sweat inside. Not. Oh, right. Um... Do you prefer the t-shirt you're wearing more to the one that I gave you? Yeah, yeah, way more. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. You can have your shirt back, by the way. What did I do now? Why do you like your shirt more than mine? I, I don't know, I just, I, I, I just... For what reason is the shirt on your body better than the one that was previously on mine? Because it feels nice, it feels nice on my body, and, and I like the color, and... Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, oh. Which is, which is why there's no best keyboard switch. Because people have completely different preferences about what they want to feel and sound. Oh, I get it now. Just out of curiosity, um, before you go, 
What's your favorite keyboard switch? What did you just say? Nothing. I I didn't say anything. What did you say? I want to know your favorite switch so I can use that Xbox to what the best switch is. Please don't, please don't know. Ah! Why didn't he just say browns? Why didn't he just answer browns? Quack. No, that's good. That was funny. Um, it didn't make me laugh out loud funny, which is always the crux for me uh, for Glarsa's videos. Let me think. Uh, he's not wrong, generally, but there are better. <laughs> there are switches that are better than other switches. There is no best switch. If it makes any sense. Right? I, I don't think there's a best switch. I just think there are switches that are better than others. Um, maybe not like holistically in a category, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's my favorite switch though? Yeah, Steel Series probably has the unironic best switches. But they're best in its like very vacuum centric definition. Mostly because uh you there's no custom PCB for it. <laughs> okay, this is hold on. I'll be right back guys, I need to grab a switch puller. A stem holder. Okay, yeah, so I thought I could continue lubing with a, a, a stem picker. I was wrong. I've gotten too used to it. And getting these god dang, getting these god dang lube on my hands is really annoying me. What am I watching? Pick. Okay. Uh. I don't know if I want to watch another one. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, back to me. Haha, <laughs> you have to focus on me now. Haha, <laughs> got him. Okay. Oh, wait. Uh, wait, is Peaches still here? 10 Peaches? Please, 10 Peaches. I need your help. I need your advice. Because you actually know something that I, I need to figure out. But if anyone else here is an Alps expert, please press one right now. Need to know. I need to find out. Um, okay, good night, buddy. Yeah, I know. I'm too too resident sleeper stream today because I'm leaving switches. I wish I was as interesting as uh, other people who stream loop a lot. But yeah, I need to find out if it's true Jake. that lubing Alps is better when it's in the board instead of instead of after desoldering i feel like there should be varying opinions on this i'm trying to figure out what's the best way to lube my alps or at least lube the sliders someone said when they're assembled and inside a inside a plate like still soldered is good some people say just take it all apart anyways just trying to figure out if anyone else knows from experience Am I getting into, oh, also I learned that, man, <laughs> getting into Alps is one of the worst and hardest things ever. But I learned that you have to first research what keycaps you want to use before the board. Because not every, just because the keycaps fit on Alps doesn't mean they're actually compatible with the custom keyboard. Which is wild. What difference would it be? I don't know, someone just said it was easier, I'm not really sure. I don't really want to ask them again. Um, yeah, and then someone was like, yeah, the caps, the caps are all different sizes. So you actually have to like pick the caps you want to use and then find a custom that happens to fit that standard of keycaps. And I was like, this is why Alps died. Okay. <laughs> this is why Alps will never be as cool as, or as popular as Cherry. I was like, 
This is unbelievable. I don't want to think about this many things. Which keycaps don't fit? I've never seen that. Yeah, so the inverse told me this, um, that certain keycaps will not fit depending on what version of Alps. So I was like, damn, I don't want to, I don't want to think about this right now, man. I'm just not mentally capable. Like I'm not mentally ready for this. The yeah, Alps are dead switches. I just want one linear Alps or one Alps board. That's it. So I can say that I have them. I might unfortunately like throw away some Alps keycaps, which is always sad. Um, so I, I recently got some oranges, which I'm very happy about. Um, the oranges are very nice. It's in very good condition. Far better than the salmons I own. Like way better. I don't know what it is, but the salmons I own are awful. <laughs> They're just not that good. Um, but yeah. Z Pug, hello. Alps are dead switches. Uh, yeah. Do you think they're more dead than Topher though? Topher's still being made, but it also has like negative support. The only support from Topher is people who take the entire PCB and housing sheets off of themselves and then put them into other keyboards which I don't know if you want to consider that support because that's just like that's at what point I, I honestly sometimes imagine a world where <laughs> what if there was a lazier like not as cool version of Norbauer and what if instead of doing what he did with Norbauer stuff he um he or she would have an Alps board and they would, oh my God, is that the top clack? <gasps> Thank you for rating me. You didn't have to, Jay. I know why you're rating. Don't, don't do this to me right now. <laughs> no, I'm not ready for this. I'm doing something so boring. I don't know why you would subject people to doing this. Um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, imagine. Imagine there was a lazier Norbauer who, instead of putting like a custom housing that you take the PCB out and you put it back in, it was just a custom metal housing that strictly went on top of another torpor board. Like just actually like, you just screw it and it sits and it just sandwiches another torpor board. <laughs> That's, imagine there was a lazier Norbauer who did that. And then you get the best of both worlds. It's a big heavy metal case, obnoxious bezels, and you get the best. All those people who say Topher sounds better in the plastic anyways, finally get to have the plastic and the metal housing together. Oh my God. Oh, Jay is asleep? Yeah, okay, I expected it. True, true, true. I forgot it's super late for the UK years. Is it is it wrong to say that um, Top Clack is the, as an EU stream? <laughs> do I still get to say that coming up or or do I, or is that not a thing anymore or do I have to say they are now at their own place not part of Europe put some poron strips and you can call it a gasket yeah that'd be so funny imagine imagine the topper board shaking up and down inside another metal one Looping streams are great. I only have 15 minutes and need to get sleep. Aw, that's okay, buddy. I also have to get up early, but I never do, so keep it up. I'm proud of you for doing what I couldn't do. I hope you had a good stream, Mr. Top Clack. Mr. The, well, that makes you the main part of Top Clack, right? Quakeums? Mr. Quake? or whatever we want to call us. Amen. Appreciate it. Yeah, I hope you had a good looping stream. I'm looping switches that I can't even really hear, which is always difficult. Wait, have you guys experienced this? When I was when I was first early in the hobby, I'm going to reiterate for people who've already heard, but um, man, I used to like really go crazy on looping cherries because I would hear the scratchiness, but I wouldn't feel it. So I just assumed that it still wasn't smooth enough <laughs> until I realized it was just a different noise. It was like the leaf rubbing noise. <laughs> I would just keep lubing the stem over and over again. I'm like, what did I do wrong? 
<laughs> What's making that noise? <laughs> yeah, those were the days. I just like couldn't realize, I didn't realize that <laughs> the sound could be coming from elsewhere. Fill it with loop. I honestly wish switches don't need any looping anymore. I would, look guys, as much as we all want to say we want no factory loop, look man, if a factory ever gets to down right, I'll be more than happy to continue buying those switches. If the only thing I have to open them up for is to film, which I will do because I like filming, because I like the sound that switches make when they film, when they are filmed. Um, yeah, the classic cherry sand is so weird. It like doesn't go away. <laughs> Especially if you use a, light, like a lesser loop. Like they feel really smooth. And then you put it up to your ear and you're like, hmm, I didn't know the insides were made of sandpaper. But uh, they are the original MX, so there's nothing we can deny from them. Imagine Cherry still had their patent on the switch and like people had to pay royalties for all of these clones that are now out like imagine that was still going on how rich they would be oh my god imagine i can only i shudder to think about how much money they would make <laughs> is your name really hugo yeah it is it is really hugo I was thinking of rebranding one day, um, but I recently learned that maybe using a name is not the best idea because it might be seen as offensive. Because I know there's a certain dictator who also has their name as Hugo. So I don't want people to think that I'm a dictator, um, even though my chat is definitely a dictatorship. Yeah. If you, yeah, you can probably find me in real life really easily. Yeah, like, unbelievably easily. I'm pretty sure a lot of uh, Shabazz types, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what I would rebrand to. What's a cute name that is, like, usable? Should I just rebrand to Hugs? Like the Smash Brothers player, but I'm not a Smash Brothers player? See what he already exists. Yes, streamer, we agree with everything you say. Yikes, I don't need this. Please don't, don't do this to me. Unity types, what was his name? What was um, Dixie's rebrand name? I, I already forgot. Oh my God, what was it, Omega Keys? Is it like Omega Law? Like, wait, Omega Keys is a website? <laughs> wow, there's a lot of, there's a oh my God, there's so, oh my God. What the heck? Okay, sorry. It's not Omega. It's it's Omni. Okay, Omni. Omni keys. Or is it Omni Omni types? Oh my god. How many derivatives? Okay, hold on. Let's check them out. Wait, this isn't them. Wait. Wait. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> I'm being trolled. Dixie, Omnitype. Wait, no, you can't rename the Omnitype. There's already like, there's like two different versions of Pokemon ability. And and it's already Omni.type is stolen on Instagram. Or is this, <laughs> they haven't done it yet? Man, I, it's genotyping? Interesting. Um, hmm. I don't know. I feel like I hope he bought the domain already. It feels like some people would troll and buy all the other domains. Do you think he could have rebranded to something more southern feeling, like with the home feeling, and but also with um, with like a little bit more class? Like, I get why he's rebranding away from Dixie Mac, but I kind of wish he kept something more brand recognizable than Omnitype. Omnitype feels very corporate. It feels like Omnicorp. And like Omnicorp is like like an actual evil corporation in like video games. Right? It feels like 
BKHH, thank you for the resubscription for five months. Holy moly. It's like when I first started streaming. Okay, I'm sorry I'm really boring today, guys. Okay, normally we're not moving switches. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I'm moving. But work, this work must be done. I wish I was faster at looping. That's, that's something we all wish we had. Howdy, howdy Mac. Oh, that'd be funny. What's a Southern thing? Like, what's something Southern that is very modern? I, I hate looping on stream. I, I only do it because I need to get it done and, and the stream will keep me accountable. But then I also get to hang out with people who show up. But I'm hoping that chat talks and carries me through my own content so that I, I can be at peace and not lonely. The only thing worse, thing, worse than lubing on stream is lubing in, in your bedroom alone, quietly, as the world passes you by and you wake up tired from lubing, having to go back to work. That's the shit that I don't like. Did I get it? Yes. Look man, sometimes you leave a blotch of loop somewhere and you just are too lazy to take it off. Roll Tide Mech? Is this a real company? Oh my god. Why? Oh my god, there's too many guys. Okay, look. If I could tell someone, somebody who's about to open up a mech store, just don't do it, man. The, one of the things is that like, certain items that are staples in certain stores help fund the ability to run other items and if you run the up uh, if you run the cheap staple that they rely on to survive <laughs> but then you also don't have enough money to run the big items <sighs> this leads to a very bad economic situation imo <laughs> i just i just think about the economy okay guys just a little bit i get it I get it, you wanna start a store, you want money. But why don't you take that ability to start a business in keyboards and put it to any other business? <laughs> Please. I feel like if you find like four friends who all wanna start a business together, you could just start a legitimate like real business. Like a real business that does actual real product, specific products and innovation and sales or like a clothing brand or something. Especially since all you guys do is spend time on Instagram and TikTok anyways. I feel like if you put enough effort there, you could just have a real, a real like lifestyle apparel store or something. Look man, if you guys just become the next Team 10, okay? Boom. Think about all the money you'd make from selling that merch. Okay. Okay, I need to take a break. My my uh, my my hands are tired. I'm gonna go. Oh, you know what's really interesting, guys? Hold on. For people who are still here, you know what I found really interesting is that. Let's see. Uh, Twitter. Um, if we find Glarses on Twitter. Yeah, that's right. I don't follow him. Okay. Oh, I do. Yikes. Okay. Um. He, uh, he says something about the cap yellow switches and how he hates them. The... Gator on. Wow, that was so loud. Why does this happen? Yeah, I saw him talk about his opinion of the Gator on switches and how much he doesn't like them. Um, and I found it very interesting that someone else came through and... Um, came through and said someone else on YouTube said um, that they were good that's my that's why I don't understand that was so weird because I not that I trust one person's um, review over the other but it was I thought it was very interesting that I remember watching a little bit of this stream and oh yeah this this person hey guys welcome back
this person who I re before I had said made pretty decent reviews, but they really like the review. Um, wow, this is their first time seeing Long Springs. Wow, so young. Um, and they said it was really good. And I was like, wait, but they're not. The housings are made of PA 6612. Okay, whatever, Yeah, it's not worth it. Don't film them. They're pre lube. Just put them in, and that's it. Wait, I'm not being toxic. I just thought that was really weird that that one person um, said these were not good, like really bad actually. And then the other person said they were very good. Um, I'm just really conflicted. Um, especially because a take like this, hold on, a take like this. And that you film these switches, it'll probably mess with the way that they go into your plate like hearing something like that, hold on, no. There are films that will fit no matter what. There are films that will compress, and if they don't, they will make they might rip a bit, but I don't think there's gonna be a film that you'll notice and you'll leave and put on and solder without trying and then be like, oh no, they, I ruined it. Um, yeah, and they don't, I remember when they were on Teja's stream, they sounded really, really scratchy. Let's see if I can find it. Uh, blah, 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 Is this the build? Here. They, these sounded really scratchy. That's straight up just plastic rubbing against plastic. Yeah, yeah, I just, I'm really conflicted hearing, hearing reviews like that. Because now I don't know, like, if there's a sponsorship deal or something, like, I don't, I don't understand, like, I don't understand how you can have the opinions can be this different, you know. That's that's all I can say. Okay, all right. That was the break I wanted. Okay, that was the break. Okay. <sighs> Back to suffering. Back to suffering. One switch at a time. God. Well, I'm not being toxic, guys. Please. I just thought it was weird. I thought everyone was going to be on the same page. The Teja, I don't think he said anything very definitive about them. Um, which is normal. Um, Larsa said he didn't like them. Which is, take that opinion as you will. Um, I didn't get any, so whatever. So I don't really have an opinion. And then a few other people said they were like very wobbly actually. That sure, like many other Gatoron switches, that the housing is tight enough to not have films. Um, but yeah, the scratchiness was something that was universal amongst most review people I had talked to. Let's see if I can speed this up. Do I, I don't think I'll you. I'm not definitely not gonna get to the keyboard today, unless this is a four-hour stream, which it's not. Man, what if I hired someone else to lube these? Ugh, I should probably do that again. I used to do that, but then um, the thing the thing that prevents me from doing that now, one is COVID, and the other thing is. It takes me too much time to plan for a drive out, to drive to someone else, um, <laughs> for them to help me lift the switches. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I don't have time to plan for it. I don't have time. Feels bad. I'm lubing. I'm lubing. Wait, I wonder if Diego's still on. Maybe I can just call him. 
on his stream and just chat with him instead. Then I can have someone to talk to. Wait, do you guys remember when everyone says, every YouTuber who says, um, who's not into keyboards, okay, every YouTuber who says they're not into keyboards, and they'll say something like, oh, yeah, that's right, I did all the work, I lubed all the switches, I lubed every single one of them, and it's great, it's so rewarding, and then they, um, and then it turns out that, like, this is the only keyboard they've ever made. It's like, man, when you get to your second or third keyboard, man, this, <laughs> that stuff gets real old real quick, okay? The your own mentality, man, that goes out the window, okay? Let me tell you, <laughs> for anyone who thinks that they, that's what they're going to enjoy. He is on. I don't know. He's always too busy for me. All right, let's check him. And we, we're going back to duo streaming. I don't know how Winky is raunchy. That's, that's fake news. How come he has a Kara? This is bullshit. I want a Kara. You lose Sony Switch for having one voice. Jack Mass or Diego? Oh, maybe I should. Uh. Hold on, let's see. So you're telling me maybe I should remove the limit for for Christmas? I don't think I can do too many though. I don't think. I think like I'll be able to do like fifty. <laughs> Is this then, a like, lot? I'm just restreaming. Oh, oh, we can all watch his typing test. That's true. He's so close. Hugo, you found a new combo. Yeah, what combo well, did you find? If it's straight, like if it's like. In Cause I do like 30 okay like straight but like even then I still like struggle a bit <laughs> but if I did like 50 straight I don't think I can do 50 straight all the way in one go you got an early Kara feels bad crane stem yeah, and T1 housing <laughs> with no slop <laughs> top on, on insta Okay, he's so close, guys. Do you guys think that more people should follow if, okay, see, if GMK wanted to be actually uh, environmentally friendly, why don't you think they would have done the same thing that CRP does and only put things in a box? That's actually a real question. Because if they didn't want to do a tray of keycaps, they could have just done a box with several sub boxes Can't of. Wait for Desco Black to arrive, same. Wasn't the crane 17 one? It's a different material. They're slightly different. Different composition. Wait, where's my type key? Oh, here it is. Different composition, but like for all real intensive purposes, they're supposed to be the same. Oh, wait, this is for tactility. Sorry, T1. Yeah, yeah, sorry, I take it all back. The T1 and. and crane is not the same the bumps are different yeah sorry the materials are the same i thought you were talking about h1 and some other stem which i was wrong about yeah no no no, no. retract my statement wait what does he have on stream is this crp 2.2 what is this green set End key here. Is this? Oh, is this um? Sorry, this is um Hebrew. Sorry, I'm not dumb. I promise. I am am cultured. It sounds really good, with no slot top. Wait, wait, hundred gex. How do you have a no slot top? How does that work? How do you wait? I'm so confused. Can you show me a picture, of, what a no slot top is? Oh, from Gazo. Oh, so like a uh, Otamu top, oh, kind of like an Otamu top, but not really. He's trimming it. Do you trim? Wait, hold on, Noodle. Do you trim all the F row? Every every key on the F row, or just the F and just the homing keys? Like, is it just the homing keys? I I, I actually uh, need yeah. to figure out how to do it. I don't know. I'm asking you. I didn't watch the whole time. Oh, step caps. Oh, step caps. I've got. I. 
I, I have my caps lock and I can't seem to unstick it. Oh, sorry, sorry, <clears throat> sorry, sorry. Alright, Artisan? Artisan? Help me. I don't know what to do. Oh, I've gotten stuff for. Oh, I have one here. Oh, this is nice. Oh my god, I think I it's so cute that Diego's into, um, into Artisans. And well, I'm definitely not into Artisans. He's pretty good. They're kind of green. Should I be into Artisans? Do you guys want the Mononoke Lola or do you want this? Uh, what's her name? Um, what's her name? Uh, what are you doing, Step Caps? The Halloween one. We're, the we can't be one. next to each other. We're we're supposed to be but it was one of the Alpha and Mods next to each other. I just recently got we, it. we can't do that. Pretty cool, though. And what does that cutting thing do? Apparently, the F and J keys, the homing keys, have oh, a have an extra out. notch that bumps into the switch early. He DM'd me. Okay, cool. Sorry, I'm sorry for the steps caps meme. Okay, I know you guys are oomers. Oh, like that. Interesting. I've That's never Miss, thought of Miss that. Miss Argentina from Beetlejuice. Oh, sorry about that. I forget. <laughs> Gay anime girl. I, 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 I forget, Aren't I we forgot. all? Aren't we all? I just don't remember things these days. A theory. I have a... <gasps> yo, I have like a controversial yet brave Confused theory trash. now. What if all... Yes, what if all right, female right. VTubers it's, it's are thing. gay? The music stops at the time. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good meme. I'm watching lightning. I'm about to do his typing test because I don't. I don't want to watch the vod. Are you serious? You want me to watch the fucking vod, bro? Look, where else am I gonna get one to one Teja type Teja types jazz music? Okay, but with this little Spanish flair. Oh, nice. And when I mean Spanish, I mean Mexican. I remember your major figurines name. There are so many. Just like how many things he has to study for school. Wait, what? Is he typing? Wait, someone tell him to turn off the music. My, my sound experience. Okay. Oh, he did it. Thank you. Okay, look, look, guys. I'm not a React Andy. Okay, other if I was a React Andy, the the window would be this big. Okay, and you would see chat. Okay, and I wouldn't do that. Why is there so many Black Simon viewers <laughs> in his chat? He didn't even focus yet. Oh. He's not focused. Is it possible to make Beifu have macros for strings of text? I like having a like password on a layer. I have no idea. That's Raz. I, I haven't tried macros on Beifu, so I can't tell you right now. Wait, Raz, is that you? Are you in chat, Raz? Okay, good. I was gonna be like, wait, why would you ever put your password in a macro for a keyboard? That's so dangerous. Wait, that's so bad. Okay, if anyone right. here is wondering to do that, don't do that. Please, God, don't do that. Okay, weird cracks. Wait, is the step caps the caps that doesn't isn't crooked? Noodle, do you know about this? Because I'm looking at his caps lock and it doesn't look that crooked. Tiny PCB. Let's see, that could work too. Here we go. This is a uh, F18X yeah. with mm -hmm. oh, F18X with um, Gadra Ink switches, loop with Sensor Five, three two RAM springs, and some CameraWorks CRT. <laughs> oh, you just said doing that. 
<laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Oh my god, look at the way he uses his index fingers for E to Y. Do you guys look at this? Holy moly, do you guys look at this technique, bro? Look at it look at his index finger on his left. <laughs> it's E to Y. <laughs> All four columns. How does he type so fast with this? With this awful layout. <laughs> His pinky doesn't. His right pinky isn't used, and his left pinky is not used. That's incredible. Wait, how did? <laughs> what am I watching? <laughs> oh my god! Apparently, finger switching is quote unquote supposedly fine in the world of typing, but I just think it looks weird. I want to call him to interview him. Should I call, try to call Lightning? Will he even pick up? Okay, I'll 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 message I'll DM him after this typing test if you guys want me to call him. I don't I need to ask him about this. Ooh. Nothing fits sites. Kinda slows down the roll. Call him? Yeah. Let me, I'm not gonna call him outright, I'm just gonna message him. Okay, I asked him. Okay, he should be done testing his stupid ass mods now. Wait, that spacebar. Yeah, tiny bit of tinnitus in the spacebar. I'm pretty sure it has to do because it's the CRP spacebar. Oh, sure I knew the it. The CRP spacebars are a bit dense and they feel kind of heavy. No, I knew he'd talk about it. I think it's kind of heavy. But I, I think, think this. If I swap the spacebar for something else, it's probably okay. I think the real secret though is if, to be honest, is uh, is for mod, yeah, for mod keys, bar, uh, to I use um, lighter springs. Like I think that's actually legit, um, so that you don't have that huge reverb. I think the lighter the spring on the space, the better. If you thought keeping him up on one shot was hard, oh, <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Cause like yeah, if the space if the spring is sixty grams plus, sometimes your spacebar will just will just go up too fast, and it'll it'll pull against the stabilizer. Wait, did he shut off the stream? Someone message him in chat and say Hugo's crying. Someone go to his chat and say Hugo's crying. Please call him. <laughs> Do it. I have an ABS space bar here right now. If I switch that over, I'm pretty sure it's going to sound different. Or even if I try to EQT space bar, I'm pretty sure it sounds different from this. Yeah, but that, okay. The but the PBT space bar sounds like one terrible. For some reason, they're super dense. I can't believe Gok left my chat though. Like Feels bad. Like this is a GMK. I mean, this is a, sorry, not a GMK, but a, like an OG Cherry. It's an ABS space bar, so I don't know. OG Cherry. So how does the if you thought arrow sound? Yeah, I think so. It knocks sort of against the table, maybe. Damn, no one needs. To, come on, someone needs to message him. Okay, it's got to be organic. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn him down for now, because there's nothing really to pay attention to. Every time I loop stabs, my right spacebar taps 
always rattle. Could be because your wire is not flat. You, you check if your wire is flat before building it. That's usually like because it's curved. Um, so if the wire is curved and in, or if it's like if it's not the wire, then your spacebar is just curved. And then one side is depressed more than the other. Oh, so okay. when you tap it, it, it rattles more. That's a, that's something that happens a lot. It's usually because your spacebar is not flat, which is really annoying. Especially with GMK spacebars recently, they're not always flat either. I'm not sure what the what it is. Also, EGC is a bit of a hit or miss though because it can come in a bit wide. Okay. Wait, he swapped me out the space bar for EPPT? I don't know if that's a good idea. PPT mold for space bar is so bad. No, the mold for the PPT space bar is so awful. If you ever look at it, if you ever look at the flip side of the PPT space bar, you'll see how like inconsistent the thickness of the bar is. It's just inconsistent. It's like, it's not even just the, it's not just the crooked thing. Um, it's because the bar is that so... actually sounds pretty nice. So let's try it with the EPPT space bar. It's because it's so, like, inconsistent. Uh, we've compared it with CRP. CRP has a much thicker, like, overall thicker and more uniform space bar than, CR than PBT. Your Pura show will be fixed for a few days. It could be your wires warped. Uh... But in that case, I don't know. I'd say please be careful. How soft or bouncy is it? Typing experience is very bouncy. This 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 keyboard is like the epitome of bouncy. It's like bouncy all the way. Any bouncers in chat? You can't really see it, but it's very bouncy. Like it, it just feels bouncy. You can just feel the bounce off of this keyboard. It's very, very bouncy. Typing keyboard is summoning you? What? Call me? Yeah. <laughs> he said no. <laughs> Is it really good and work with my Xerox app? We'll see if this works. Alright. Feels bad. Oof, we just got ultra ignored. <laughs> it's okay, guys, we tried. Whoa, what? Ah, oh, what happened? Oh, you must have pressed the short side. Okay, I'm gonna lower this timing test because I don't think it's gonna type any any different, any notably different. I'll, I'll let you guys know if it types different. I'm trying to think about, but the what? Do you think your room is too humid? It could be like so humid that your your plastic is warping, like because of the temperature plus the heat and the moisture. Like the heat and the moisture are causing it to change. Hey, new types. What's good, my dude? What is good? You're my f the favorite types. I like new types way more than like omni types. Or Omni keys. Now, now that I know that that's a place, apparently. Wow, 
I can't believe I just got hit with that. You updated this. Oh, sick, dude. Thank you. I'm very happy. Well, that's like kind of pingy, but I don't know. I think it's probably just because it's a bit, and probably it's a bit rougher here. Yeah, so this is a problem with PBT space. Yeah, well, a lot of people's space bars is, is that. A little bit different. Here's a thing. Uh, I didn't turn them up, but. A lot of people think what that noise was is, is a rattle from this, from the stab, and that's only like fifty percent true. And I'm trying. I've been trying to develop a method to make sure that noise goes away. It's uh, it's taking a long time. It's really hard to get rid of that, because it's like a combination of so many things. It's like the spacebar is slightly warped, so one wire is being pulled up against, and then when you tap it, it happens to rattle against the housing a bit extra. And it's really hard to deal with because it's not like the wire like not being encapsulated in lube, which it could be, but it's more often than not it's um it's because um when the wire pulls up the whole housing and base like shakes. Like the whole thing can shake some a little bit. And it's really, really difficult to get rid of that. Um it could also just be the noise from the space bar topping out. Oh, he got a blue F1. The Cyr those Cyrillic legends. I don't think those are Cyrillic. I think those are Hebrew. <laughs> New types. The green is Hebrew. <laughs> New types. Unless you're talking about mine. Are you talking about mine? Wait. Wait, new types. Wait, hold on. I need confirmation. You talking about mine? Mine are scuffed. Wait, how? Yeah, this one They're straight from down. CRP. Wait, what's scuffed about it? I I need to know. Where's Constantine when I need him? Do you know because of your Cyrillic pains? Um, I know this is all definitely different compared to my actual EPPT Cyrillic. This is very different from my PPT Cyrillic. This is the Xerox Cyrillic, acrylic, Cyrillic, whatever you want to call it. Arjun, these are by, um, these are by Captain Tinder, who actually has been here in chat before. <laughs> Aguas Frescas, which ones are my favorite? I mean, probably Horchata is my favorite. Tamarindo is pretty good. Um, like, I like, yeah, Agua, I like, like, cantaloupe. It's pretty good, too. Hello, man. Imagine being a cantaloupe lover. Okay, I'm going to zoom out and let new types tell me what's wrong with this set. Anyway. Apparently, it's supposed to be historically accurate or whatever, so. But Mr. Mr. New Types knows everything about anything, so let's figure it out. All right, I think that's all I have for now. Oh my god. Mm. He's not going to read me. It's like super loud. The thing is too thin. It's not super loud, I think. It's pretty standard. It's a bit clacky for sure. Oh, I guess. Hold on, wait. Maybe. Let me let me search up on on uh, E P P T. Okay, hold on. Yeah, I agree. The way th mine are way thinner. Mine are way smaller. We can make this really big. That's why I tested with earlier. Yeah, mine are pretty thin. I don't know if you call that scuffed. There's so much. Um. There's so much that could be worse, right? What is this about? GMK is uh, fuck too. On this stream, we do you think PBT is the only one who has the right one? Custom keyboard builder. Um, I'll go by right click. Welcome, Melon Gaffney. Wait. Let's see where do I close? Close the keyboard. 
Who is this? Okay, I thought this was someone in name I recognize. The blocky A. We're getting a mail in English or Candlelook? Melon? Messing messing with me all the time. Our new types, are you Russian? I'm curious. I'm a little curious now. Or are you a GMK? Sorry, not GMK. Are you a Cyrillic alignment fanatic? How about Frocking? That's pretty funny. Alright, I'm gonna show you guys what the board looks like up close. Oh, I don't know what Kimchi is saying. Kimchi said in chat, you guys missed this, but Kimchi said in chat that um that the bars were inconsistent. I don't think so though. I out of everyone I know who's gotten a set, which is a lot of people, um, yeah, one thing I noticed, yeah, uh, all the space bars that I've seen were so good. I don't know about this. Any, any sculpted oh, actually, you know what? Hold on, let me turn him down a bit. Is that true? Does anyone know this? Has anyone noticed this, I guess? Cause, can anyone who actually is active in chat right now figure this out for me? I've noticed this too, actually, that China boards have um, a low typing angle and they like SC. I'm not sure like why that combination exists. I just noticed this. And yeah, Diego pointed out something that's true that I don't know if the typing posture is correct or not, but Korean boards have a higher angle, which like generally is only comfortable if you float your wrist. Um, and in that case, um, SA doesn't look as nice because the angle is so high. Like it warps so quickly, like as in like the, the rate of which the angle goes up. And I noticed that. And I think now like, hmm. Oh, Constantine knows? Okay. Um, well, apparently he knows everything about Korean and Japanese lettering too. But yeah, like, I just know, I just remember that. Like, yeah, so like, is that why China boards like SA? Is it because perhaps that their typing pattern is better for lower profile? And it's perpetuated? Hmm. I'm, I'm curious now. Okay, is he gonna call me? Call me! Tell oh my god, now's a chance, guys. I'm gonna yell at him to call me. Let's see who's up. I'm gonna say it again. Uh, Let's see if he notices. Hugo is up. RQ1999 Ramen Champ Filks is up. Um, yeah, I guess. I think that's it for keyboard peak. Wait, for now. People want ramen. Um, is ramen too cool? Is ramen the new cool guy? Man, I'll never be cool. Ramen. This feels bad. <laughs> no, Keyboard don't. Is streaming. Yeah, Kiko is streaming too. But just call me. Raid Kiko. All right, we should just take it to a poll. No, don't raid. Don't. I did raid Hugo raid. a while back. Just so call me. Basically the choice is. All right, you can vote now. I uh, call? I'm not gonna call. <laughs> Don't raid. Just call me. No. Oh my god, this guy. Rip. I'm not, I don't, I'm not in the mood for for a call right now. Oh my god, this guy. He said not to raid. I guess the decision has been made. Yeah. On I only want to be called. I only want to be called. Look, Kimchi. I okay, just want to know. I shall obey. I just wanted to interview him on his typing style. I noticed something fascinating is that he'll use, at some point, he'll use his index finger from Y to E and like everything in between, everything lower. But then sometimes his right hand will take over and go from, can take over from Y to B and also take over everything on this side. It's incredible. I, I need to know like if it's a conscious decision to change hands like that. Like I can't possibly think of like using two different fingers to type on the same key. Um, it's crazy to think that 
that's how that's possible. I just I, just analyzing in my brain, I it has to be like a learned behavior, right? That's like fascinating. Yeah, I don't know. It's okay. It's okay, man. He is, he is too. <laughs> I messaged on my Discord and he didn't respond. an artifact yeah i know but like my thing i'm not like I, I i'm aware that it's probably a a mental artifact but i'm more curious like if you can recognize that cognitive pattern because in your brain like your brain isn't hardwired like that right you can you could you could probably like think that like yeah like i find it so interesting like a learned pattern that muscle memory can take over so hard on the clock well, wow, everyone has to really go today. Okay, I'm gonna close Ramen Champ because I don't know anything about Ramen Champ. Is Ramen Champ another SoCal streamer? Kimchi, if you're still watching, why are all these? <laughs> Look, man, I don't know how all these other streamers get their lubing done so quickly. Okay, I have to stream lubing to get it done, <laughs> and sometimes my streams have to be lubing streams. And therefore, sleep resident sleeper streams. How can I? Uh, uh. Um, how do I get more popular? Who? How do I get a sil better Silicon Valley job, and then I could hire someone to lube my switches, and then I could buy as many boards as possible and fucking flex it all. Over. Uh, I'm, uh. Yeah, I know. It's. Uh, yeah, I mean, I would just assumed. Oh my god. So I. Um, I sold a board for someone the other day or the other week and um, it was crazy because I was like man who can afford this flipped price and it was like a little bit of a flip price okay so I was doing it for someone else um, and I, I got their address and there's like SoCal what is their job I found their job Amazon and I was like damn what am I missing out on this Amazon salary shit Kim G are you are you Amazon are you Silicon Valley Bezos money? Bezos bucks? Damn it. Not, not in the mood for a call. Cucked again. Fuck, you're an opt- Wait, that's even better. Okay, here. Wait. So this is a, this won't offend you because it won't- Because it shouldn't affect you. So- Dentists and optometrists are very similar, but I think, yeah. Oh, you're in the retail part? Oh, okay, I thought you were actual, like, eye doctor, like, do tests and stuff. You hit, like, a hundred bucks an hour, though, right? Oh, my God. Feels bad, man. Um, dude, okay, hold on. Then, then this should never, this should not matter at all, and I can talk about this freely. Okay, I have discovered and this is an ongoing theory, so I need some refinement on my data. Every, every dentist is actually a scum. <laughs> okay. I thought landlords, or as Twitter would tell me, landlords and gamers um, and white people apparently uh, are scum, but wrong. The real scum are dentists, apparently. That's the real shit right there. But you know how many, you know people constantly ask the same question here? It's like I can't escape it because it's in real life. Um, dude, every fucking dentist, man. It's actually just scum. Just disgusting behavior. I've never seen such bullshit behavior out of any medical profession in my life, except when I'm at a dentist's place. They like, they scam you at every corner, man. It's incredible. Like for the dentist to walk in and check your mouth after the hygienist does her job, that's 50 bucks on your insurance. For the dentist to be like, hmm, all right, here's your fluoride mouth rinse. And it's like one milliliter of fluoride and you swirl it for 30 seconds. That's apparently 20 bucks to insurance, bro. What the fuck? How? How is this possible? What am I looking at? Dude, dentists are... Yeah, so, okay, so this happened to my girlfriend. 
so or <clears throat> my platonic roommate okay um that she had to remove a tooth and I'm sorry. The, yeah the cavity thing right or whatever the, what the was the, root, the the crown yeah 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 the crown had to get refilled filled right and um but then they were like oh you're gonna need a root canal or no, I didn't actually need one. Yeah, they they, they they threatened though. They were like they were like definitely suggesting that you should get a root canal. And if you don't, you and might you, have to. Get yeah, and if you don't, you're gonna be fucked for life. Okay, that's the message. And then so she does both surgeries, which costs like two thousand dollars. Okay, three thousand dollars. Sorry. Okay, well Canadian bucks. Okay, uninsured, uninsured at the time. Okay, so Americans, you know it's good. And then and then it's funny because while eating. The fucking crown broke. Like this, it came out of, the whole crown just popped out. (laughs) It was like, bro, (laughs) what were you doing, Mr. Dentist? What the fuck? Goes back. It's like, hey, what's good? (laughs) And they just charge her again for the other surgery to put it back. (laughs) What the fuck? I have... No, they didn't charge me to put it back. Oh, they didn't? Okay. Yeah, but still, imagine, imagine having that procedure. Holy fuck. Oh my god. Okay, I thought they did. I was under the impression they did. That would have been sus as fuck. Do you want some tea? Yeah, sure. Yeah, root canals do go bad. It's fucked. Yeah, that's the worst part. Is that dentists tell you to do root canal to prevent other disease? And then they then they swindle you because the root canal gets infected. <laughs> Holy shit, dude! This is why I take brushing my teeth and flossing and and all that shit super seriously. Okay, holy dentists might think they're doing you a favor by telling you to do that shit. It's like no 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 no. no. I don't want to see you. Okay, don't talk to me. Don't you ever recommend shit to me. Okay. Oh God. And it's always funny to me because I so I know several people who've gone from one dentist to another, like a li- a near lifelong dentist to another dentist, because they move or something, and um, every single time without fail, the new dentist says, "Wow, your old dentist was shit." Every single time, just I'm very sus. Every every new dentist you meet says the previous dentist did a shit job, or they'll be like, "What the fuck did your dentist do?" or "Why did he do this?" Or she, you know, whatever. Um, and it's crazy. So I had a almost lifelong dentist. Um, and I have a wire under one tooth to push it out to make it more aligned. And every single time I've been to a new dentist, which is like three times now, every single dentist slash hygienist, what the fuck is that? Why is there a wire there? What is it for? Wait, do you know there's a wire? That, like they even ask me, that they, do you know that you have a wire there? It's like, bro, it's in my fucking mouth. Of course I know there's a wire there. What do you mean? It, it's it's actually incredible that that and then they're like why did your dentist put it there huh why it's like bro can't you figure it out come on man yeah anyways I, I just I just thought that was absurd anyways optometrist though always trying to swindle you on those three hundred dollar frames when you can get the same shit online for so much cheaper <laughs> I'm sure kimchi makes good money okay but I'm just saying. Yeah, on this episode, dentists are sus, okay? Um, it's I find it strange that teeth are such an important part of the human body, and that stuff's not actually insured by the government. Um, but something like your brain is, which is silly. I'm just kidding, okay, that was, that was satire, okay. Chu says, GMK Trump too hot. Look, GMK Trump is not good, okay? The yellow is too blinding. It's also missing the receding hairline, so I don't like it. Uh, it's not very period accurate, um, and there's no version of him molding, so, uh, and the kidding is bad, okay? <laughs> oh, you, you like that? I did objective analyzation of GMK <laughs> Trump, got him. You have no, everything in America medical is a scam? Wait, how much do you charge when you sell glasses? Because you said you did retail glasses, right? Oh man, who who makes the who makes the banger bucks? What brand is the best seller, Kimchi? Tell me what it's like. Who is it? Maui Gem? Oakley? Come on. You know come on. You don't know? Oh, 
Ray-Ban? Ah, uh, fuck, I knew it. I have to applaud Ray-Ban for one thing, and they do this, and no other brand I have ever met does this. I went on their website, and I wanted a pair of sporty Ray-Ban sunglasses, because I used to ride the bike outside a lot, and I wanted something to, like, cover my eyes on the road. Um, and I noticed a pair of sunglasses that was very popular, and, um, and I noticed when I clicked it, they were like, also comes in Asia face. And I was like, wait, what does that mean? And for a hot minute, I was trying to get woke and, and think and get mad. And then I realized, wait, no, Asia face is real. Putting sunglasses on is so fucking... Lightning, I wanted to just ask you, well, no, I'm not, no, you know what? You don't get to come in here, talk to me in text, and then get the same question I was going to ask you in on voice <laughs> while you're in here, okay? That doesn't work like that. <laughs> no, don't leave. Wait. Yeah, I got, did you, wait, Lightning, you clipped the F and JK, right? Or whatever? I didn't clip it. I didn't know I had to clip it. I was so excited I just put it on. I slapped it on the the thingy. Cuz apparently they need they have clearance problem on the homing keys. I saw you had clippers out. Yeah, I didn't know. I'm just listening to chat. Chat told me, so I guess they're right. I did notice retroactively though, maybe it's confirmation bias though that it was a little louder. Drop hasn't shipped. Oh, did you not get yours yet? Oh, you're, you're Americans. Damn, I'm so used to Americans getting everything first that I it couldn't even register to me. Okay, be careful. It's really hot. Okay, thank you. Don't ever text from the enemy. Oh, yeah. We used to work for... Well, can we even... just Wait, hold on. Can we say that? Yeah, probably. Yeah, now that we're not working for them anymore? Or you're not working for them anymore? So Tiffany used to work for the David of David's Keys. Or, sorry, David's Keys, lol. Uh, David's T. Oh, I can't believe I had that. I, I'm so absorbed by keyboards that I said David's Keys. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, Kimchi, we built it the other day. Like on Thursday or something. Um, wait, Lightning, if you're still here, we wanted to ask you, um, like, how it, did you consciously like develop your typing pattern is so fascinating to me it's one of like the unsolved mysteries of my life oh he left damn it no no he left that motherfucker all right whatever all right well whatever he doesn't get to take advantage of me anymore yeah it's apparently um this key here the homing row let me zoom in a bit apparently um this thing well, hits the switch early and it makes a big bad noise. Then change your spacebar. Did you switch from right hand spacebar to left hand spacebar? Yeah, because you did this thing where you like it was fascinating. You have like I don't know how like if it's conscious because it's obviously not conscious. Your your right finger took all the way from Y to E like this index finger and it did this whole like twelve switch cluster for like several words and then all of a sudden it reached over and then your your right finger here did this whole triangular cluster um and it was it was very fascinating to, to see how like depending on like word um maybe your brain has like a algorithm like built like uh, you've developed an algorithm subconsciously to see like when words match up like which dominance you need to do i don't know i think it's very interesting it's bad though i don't know technically you're not you don't have to follow um like quote unquote perfect typing form for like apparently speed typists say it too you don't need perfect touch typing like the perfect ideal hand position all the time anyways um it's not very realistic especially when you have key when you have to type words that are micro clustering inefficient I'm upset that I wish I was contacted for Akara I don't want to message them because I feel like they're too busy for me um, and I also don't want to be that guy who thinks that because he has a stream he can ask for anything 
the only thing I want to ask for is to call my buddy old friend, my my co-host guest. Kimchi, did you get one? <laughs> Don't tell me you got one. I'll be so mad. Then I'll just say I should have asked. True. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, maybe in this day and age, it's not about being and not about not asking. It's just about asking anyway. Huey, Apri, and you, Ozzy. Um, didn't didn't Alex get one as well? Yeah. Yeah, but Alex is huge now. Alex has like bled through to the next level. Oh, um, I just got a thought. Okay, when I when we ask about people. We uh we already assumed Nathan got one. Nathan only chooses not to get one. That means if Nathan didn't get one, he chose not to get one. Um Lightning, do you think if I showed them my my Rama previous purchases they would offer one for me? <laughs> From last stream. <laughs> you do you no, do you remember that time I was showing off what I bought from Rama? <laughs> do, do you think do you think they'd be like, oh shit, yeah, we'll get you one? <laughs> Only in private though. I think I, I did talk shit about Rama sports in public before. I'm only a Rama fanboy in private. Yeah, fuck bro. Okay, that's enough. Yeah, I even got the dumb collectible, so. Uh, all right, I think we clipped these enough. I'm always worried that I didn't clip it clean enough. Oh, so Diego, I don't know how much uh, CRP you know about, but Mr. New Types told me apparently this is mad scuffed. So for anyone who got Cyrillic or Russian Xerox, apparently these are scuffed. These keys are very too small. The legend is way too squished. It's not like at all close to what it's supposed to look like. And I looked at it against my, yeah, they're incredibly, incredibly scuffed. If we, if we take a look at my duck octagon, sorry, I keep saying octagon when I mean to say Orion. If we look at the Orion, they are, there's not even close. Let me zoom out a bit. Like, look how big these are. Yeah. Oh. Are they accurate to the typewriter? Uh, let's find out. I actually don't remember. I didn't search it up. What is it? Um, Xerox Russia. I think the I think the reference I found was here. Apparently there's an ANSI version, which I'm really upset about that he didn't make. Uh, oh, this picture's so blurry. Ugh. I mean, I can tell kind of from the image that they look a little accurate. Um, yeah, they're definitely not amazing though. Okay, but before I go, cause I'm about to go off. Oh, dude, I don't know why kimchi was complaining about the spacebar, but my spacebar was straight AF, like the straightest I've ever seen. Like, like, like almost perfectly straight. Like no lie, like I, I as I unboxed it, I put it on a MacBook, like the, like I put on a piece of glass and it was just super straight. Uh, this is godlike. Sounds doo-doo? No, I think this CRP spacebar sounds way better than the, so these are both Cherry MX Blacks. I mean, these are different boards, but whatever. The, um, yeah, this is their board dependent. But last I talked to Gawk about this is that I remember, I remember when we measured, when we had CRP round 2.2, we were looking at this space bar mold and the inside thicknesses were very um, inconsistent. 
their moles are really bad in consistency terms. Um, whereas these ones, they were much thicker consistently all the way around. Like I wouldn't say they're like always thicker. Um, mine is a little flawed. I will say that I have, so from round 2.2, there was some like wiggling in the space bar. I have very little bit right here on the, I don't think it's visible. I have a little bit here on the left side here, but I'm a, I'm a, I'm, I space bar all the way here. So it's okay. It's okay for me. Pretty much every round has been slightly different. Yeah, I'm glad they fixed the space bar problem. Um, oh, you know who's super underrated for PPT that I've been trying to get a hold of to like maybe get into North America? Is a, the people who are, there's a group of people in China who are making PPT sets. They make PPT for another well-known big name manufacturer in North America who is not in Finicky. Um, and, oh, did Twitch think that you're typing too fast? <laughs> Lol. Um, and yeah, they apparently make, so they make this one profile for this big company, but they also make this other profile for themselves, this cherry, um, PBT and the results were great. I really liked it. They were very, very nice. Um, so I thought, I thought that was very interesting. I'm, I might try it cause their sets were very cheap. The coverage. The set coverage from China is not very good, but it's very good. Wow, I want to become famous. Can someone ban that? Because I actually, and because <laughs> I don't have regular Twitch chat, I cannot ban anyone. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, I forgot to VIP Mr. Lightning. Uh, hold on. Oh, one thing I hate about this keyboard, as in not this keyboard, the this keycap set, is the um, the shifted numbers. Did I do it right? Did I do the command wrong? Oh, it's slash VIP, isn't it? I'm cringe. Uh, do I also need to do Kimchi Jody Boy out of respect? Yes. <laughs> what if I said no? <laughs> That'd be so mean. I don't know if anyone know. Um. Yeah. So I think this is the worst set of the of the CRP round three though. Before I go off. Okay. I'm a touch typist, so the alphas are fine because even though I'm not looking at them. But um, these numbers fucked me up all day. These ruined my life, okay? This actually ruined my entire day of productivity. So you notice how the blue key is here, right? On um, the sublegend of blue tells you the correct key that it's actually supposed to be for the moment, at least for the alphas. Holy shit, these brackets, because as a, as a developer, okay? I use these things a lot. I use brackets a lot. And I kept doing this all day and not having it work. <laughs> because it's supposed to be these two. I was so triggered. And I need like, so the other keys I use a lot are and, and, and shit. And I could, I just couldn't find them. <laughs> God, this set made me so mad all day. I was actually so triggered. You think it's a joke. You think it's a goddamn joke, but it's not a joke. Look at the picture. What is this? This page is not available. Do I need to, oh, the link was broken? Sure. Let me see. Oh, I unplugged my keyboard. Oops. Why do you guys link stuff that I have to do work for? Okay, I unplugged it. Okay, thankfully it wasn't a horse. It's not correct. Wait. Wait. Oh, did I do it wrong the whole time? No, it doesn't matter. No. <laughs> You're trolling me. 
<laughs> no, it doesn't matter because it's not 7, 8 that is closed bracket. It's not the closed bracket that bothers me. It's the 8, 9 that's supposed to be open in closed parentheses. If I did it wrong, I because I copied drop, which is, I guess, my mistake. It is my bad for copying drop. See, I was looking at, where's the drop picture? I was looking at this picture, right? Come on, Korma, please don't do this to me. Look, drop, put the one here. Don't blame me, please. I didn't do it. Okay, I followed this because I wasn't sure. What do you want? What do you want, guys? Hmm? To be fair, though, the, the these last two keys are technically correct, right? Because underscore is that is where that is, and equals is here. But if you say plus belongs there, then technically that's correct. If you put plus here, and you remove equals, then this goes somewhere else. Um, I think this is a hard debate, though, because either way, one to nine is in the correct position, basically because if you follow the blue sublegends if you follow the blue sublegends it's technically correct if you follow the black sublegends then yeah you should move it over but either the, neither of these things solve the problem that open and close brackets is supposed to be on nine and zero and no no matter what it is i can't i can't solve it <laughs> i can't solve it and those are the keys i look at a lot uh i also need and 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 is the symbol is usually on seven so that's not very helpful. And the other thing I knew I do is dollar sign and ampersand. Yeah, these are both lost in here. So it turns out I can't actually use this set. I guess I can use this on a 40% or a 50%, something without a number. Just learn to touch type numbers. That's the hardest part, bro. Please don't do this to me. Do I look at my number? I don't look at my numbers. I look for the symbol because I usually look for, I don't care about the number. It's usually, I'm usually, I usually need to do this. I'm usually this. Um, look, I just want someone to make, you know what CRP could do? That would be great is if they made the HHKB side printed uh, legends for Cherry. I would, I would love that. Cause I want to use the, cause I'm not like good enough yet at HHKB. I want the HHKB printed keycaps. Um, that's what I want. Is that true? Sat three thousand. Is that a thing? Okay, this is the last thing I'm looking at before I'm going to bed. Okay, you guys are triggering me. Is this it? No. Th where's the arrow keys, bro? No, this isn't right. Where's my arrow keys? Where's home and delete? This is not no wrong. Why would you link? Why would you lie to me, guys? Look, there's no. This isn't it. Hold on. Okay. You guys are making me mad as fuck right now. I'm looking for this shit. This side printed crap. See this? See these arrows here? That's what I want. I'm waiting for this. This is what I want on a GMK. Yeah, I mean these. Because I want to pick up the proper... That's shit AF. Just use sticker. Listen here. Look. Let me be the owner of plastic, okay? I'll, you know what? <laughs> Idiot exception. I'm going to go to your house. If I see even one garbage GMK set... Holy shit, I guess, guess what? I'm gonna take tons of pictures. I'll put your ass on blast, brother. <laughs> I'll fucking find you, bro. This one was supposed to be it. Oh, it is. But they they don't have the side print, I guess. This is good though, they have the good space bar. Um, not the good space bar, the correct space bar. What happened to this? 2018? God damn. Look, I know you guys think this is ugly, okay? But for purposes of learning it, I want this to happen. Yeah, I can see why it didn't happen though. For the purposes of me trying to learn the HHKB layout, this is, I, I need this because like, look, I need training wheels, okay? No, I'm not as good as all of you, okay? I wasn't born when this keyboard was made. 
I, I probably don't need volume up down mutant eject, but I need I want this stuff. Kind of like how I want I want a set. Something that I didn't realize I wanted was um, the real force. The real force eighty seven had some sick had a sick thing that I didn't think of, that I didn't know about. Um, not the black. I shouldn't click Amazon because it's gonna show my address that is public. Um, yeah, the numpad under this is something that I realized I didn't know I wanted. You know, having numpad here wasn't that bad of an idea. Sure, you could put numpad here, but normally I put my layer stuff up here, um, which is cool. Yeah, I didn't know, because I, I, once I used this, I was like, wait, this is sick. I used it one time. I used it when I was using Excel for the first time in a long time. I was like, oh, this is sick that I have this. Um, and I didn't realize I wanted that. I like how, how woke they were early on to have, um, they have a switch here that I use that swapped to cops, caps lock and control. I didn't know how woke that was until I, until I realized it was sick as fuck. Now I have, now I have either windows or control on, on caps lock for all my boards that I use. Yeah. Yeah. I love putting cap, like, man, this is actually a life changer. Okay. Putting Windows key here or Control here, depending if you're a Mac user, is pretty big. Oh yeah, the, if you're talking about the numpad, yeah, the numpad is big. Numpad is big brain here. Yeah, because like realistically, when you're typing in numpad, when are you gonna use alpha keys, right? You do your numpad, you, you toggle it, and then you're done. It's so easy, it's so big brain. You don't need scroll lock, okay? You know what scroll lock is for, okay? <laughs> That's right, you don't. <laughs> Uh, I don't care so much about EBPT says I drill those LED holes. The ho you like the hole? Like, you're crazy, Jolly. What the fuck? You don't want your numpad to be staggered. Uh, I can see that. Then you can technically put your numpad here if you want. Because this covers zero to 1 to 9. You don't you Double zero can just be here and here. Okay, I think that's it though. We're chill. Um... Thanks, Diego, for not rating me like I asked. Thanks for also not rating Andy. Okay, he already has 100 viewers, 100 viewer Andy. Um, yeah, we lived about half the switches we needed today because I'm slow AF at looping switches. But I will catch you guys next time. Yeah. Okay, also call me next time. I don't understand why you hate... I know you I know you can talk. I don't understand. I'm tired. Okay, buddy. Oh, should I wait, what if I send you So the post office lady said I explicitly can't send you snacks on its own because it looks like I'm selling you snacks. Uh, which is not allowed. So instead I'm gonna package my, my blue salamander to you and then you could <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. You have a queue. I'm not going to interrupt your queue. All right. I'll see you guys next time. Yeah, no, but the chips are going to be airbags for the blue salamander. The fuck? You can't send... Yeah, you can't. Well, I was using it through my business account, and they're assuming that... Yeah, you need a license to send snorks. Um, and I don't have that license, so... Um, yeah, so I have to go through another carrier and then not as a business account and say that it's a, uh, and say that it's a, uh, a gift. Yeah. I have to declare it as a gift, not a sale, but like under a personal account. It's so fucking stupid. Yeah. All right. I will see you guys next time. Hopefully we'll build some average 60% next time. I'll be less than, I'll be more entertaining. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.